Hold my hand, please. I might as well. You're live now. There you go. Ah, hello, stream. Okay, you can commentate on what's going on while we get. Right. <laughs> Sorry, stream, for the the late start. Uh, Golden had some technical issues. Tech no, uh, I don't. The server has technical issues. Excuse me. The server never had technical issues. Uh, okay. Yeah, hundred percent running twenty four six. <laughs> that makes sense. Well, I better see some crazy shit after I get in. Otherwise, I'll be kind of. Oh, why didn't I think of it? I'm just gonna stream Bannon's stream. I'm a oh, genius. I like 80 golden reacting to Bannon's stream for the entirety of FCL match four. <laughs> that would be one hell of a video. <laughs> oh god. Goon. Hey yo. Get one more guy. Goon, back. Buddy. You know I'm a good guy. I'm not really get angry easily, but this is this is not something you can play. What happened? Yeah, man. Like that fucking. We are guy. fighting against enemies and our own team also. It's not what possible. It's not game. Wait. It's just torture. Well, who's, who's doing stuff right now? TGL! They are fucking us up! Wait, what team? They destroyed our CV with yeah. full of VMAT. They yeah, I'll, I'm gonna play this funny guys another one, trust me. What can I'm I asking, do with it? I'm asking, I'm asking crazy to spawn you guys another one. Boom, boom, them all too, fucking burn them. I already, I already <laughs> banned the Kante, the one who did it, right? That's the guy who I, did I don't understand. Yeah, burn them all, burn them, burn them. <laughs> Is there someone else? Still griefing, Warren? I don't know. There are there are reports coming from everywhere. If if you have names, I'll just ban them. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I know some of the yeah. DGL guys. I love them. They are good guys, but I don't know what's happening to them right now. I mean, I could stream the aftermath of how Gunboon manages an FCL man. <laughs> <laughs> a full live stream documentary of how Gunboon manages a match. <laughs> That's gonna be something. <laughs> Bro, like, uh, hashtag Daphne. I mean, uh, Are you streaming right now still? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm streaming. Hey. There's nothing I can Welcome do. FCL. <laughs> Season 4. A little crappier than the other two seasons, but still FCL. <laughs> FCLs, FCLs. It's, a, it's a tradition. Well, you know, what I haven't asked you is, uh, do you remember that video I made on the second season of FCL? What? Uh, it's called the the NNF meeting, basically, the FCL meeting kind of thing. Video? I think I I skimmed to that video. I remember seeing uh, it. I DM'd you. It. You Yo, Hello. 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 Christine is on the case, don't worry. So, what's happening? Give me, give me info. Can Shaggy join? I think I think you can join now. Because... Ask can join? Yeah. yeah. Is Legion our five guys? Hmm? Legion is five guys, right? Legion... Okay, fucking hell guys. Welcome to the stream. I'm gonna have a timestamp on when this starts. I'm terribly sorry. What happened was um, the teams had agreed on a... Oh, the Wardens are winning. So the teams had agreed on a 75v75 match for this war. But the problem was that the server, instead of going, instead of the devs having an 80 versus 80 server, they made a 75 versus 75 man server. So they finally changed it to 80 v 80 and were able to get in. I'm terribly sorry for the delay, but there's nothing I can do. Right, so going in, we have BV taking the middle region. We have the Kali's here, uh, kind of just... Pushing on to the town, not really giving it up as far as we can see. I just want to catch up on what's going on. Uh, I'm going to put the music on in the background. Yeah, that's a good idea. There we go. Oh, yeah. Wait. There we go. Right. So, 
We have the Wakali seems to have built up a fort right here, and it's gonna be the Russians that have done that. The middle area is going to be taken by, let's see. Right, who's over here? We got ASS and we got uh, more BB. So ASS is in, is in charge of the middle region. I'm guessing they're working with FRU to take this top fourth north over here. And this is going to, no, this is going to be the weeds. So I wonder where the Frenchies are. Let me see. This is Legion and the Weebs. Okay. We're missing still the Frenchies. I'm not sure who's working at the bottom right here. I don't know. There's nobody here, unfortunately. Well, maybe they're pushing through here. Oh, yeah, they have. Look at this. They've taken the four and the watchtower here. Cool. What's over here? Oh, they've pushed out on top of this bridge. And there we go. So the Frenchies are at the bottom, Southern Island. We got BV plus ASS in the middle region, and ASS plus the Weebs in the top region, along with the Legion and Kirsten. And they've set up an FOB over here. The Colonials. So. I'm not sure how they're gonna plan to do this. I'm guessing they're gonna use an FOB line to get to that fort like they did last time. But right now the fight is gonna happen in the middle region as the colleagues are continuously creeping up on this middle town. Ooh, the builder's getting shot now by ROV. MBV is going to intercept their builders as well we have a TMD now shooting on the blueprint getting built by one of the colonials and what do we have yeah TMD and cactus are now wiping the colonials who are trying to assault the warden builders over here now for this as far as I can see we have about 10 15 ish foxels around here yeah 15 to 20 foxels in about 10 pillboxes all around uh, i'm guessing this is as much the ar range of this uh, town hall i think maybe a little bit more as we can see here they're still building on the third layer of uh, defenses so yeah we'll see how this goes but the colleagues definitely have not given up on uh, retaking this town so far so we'll see how this goes in the I kind of just want to get a good or a better grasp. Oh, enemy spotted right here. What's this? Oh, they're building up a FOB over here in this little farm area. That's kind of cool. They can use like the fences for cover. That's pretty nice. And they're building a Foxel FOB line. Who's this? What? Okay. BV and BV. Right. Okay, this is interesting. So they're gonna build up an FOB line across their Lodgy route, ultimately securing it. That's that's neat. That's real nice. I haven't seen that before. I see a lot of team killing in chat though. I don't know how I feel about that. Alright. Going back to the middle region, we have Three, four, five, six, seven, and a uh, lot of foxels. Twenty, around twenty foxels. Twenty-five. A lot of foxels out here by the collies, ultimately spamming this area. And I don't see any anything on the south southern side of Combi. So maybe one of the teams are going to try to push through there. We'll see. got some combat going on right here and more wardens seem to be approaching now the front line to try and have a front line combat instead of a builder front line combat with against the collies we got a uh, castle here and uh, Fidel finishing off the warden and a stab coming in from TMD and a shot coming through and another stab and TMD is gonna finish both of those colonials up 
Another calling now hiding behind this fence right here, and another one just looting the dead bodies over here. The collies can push up till about here, but as we can see, this is exactly where the wardens want to have their defenses, as this house will serve no purpose, as have no windows or cracks or doors on this hand side of the wall along with this building. So they can use this and as as we see right here, block it off. If the uh, now, according to the point status if bv aka the wardens win this game aka have more towns than the colonials they'll ultimately be secured for semi-finals and finals like they're already secured they're gonna be the number one team of fcl this season so looking forward to see how that's gonna turn out meanwhile we have the sile over here aka weeps but I don't like to call them weebs anymore because they've grown up <laughs> past that tag. Um, right, we don't see anything on this road from the colonial side as far as I can see. Maybe a few foxes right here, but this is already at Nuke. Yeah, we just passed Nuke. So let's see how Nuke is defended. Nuke has a few pillboxes, a few foxels. We got um, Vanguard uh, building up defenses and I hear a truck. Yep, there it is. There is a garrison up, but I think that's pre-built. And they do have a, an FOB on top of this hill, which could serve useful uh, against anyone trying to take Nuke. So, playing this game really passively here from Vanguard. We'll see how this turns out, though. Let's head over back to the Weeps. Rather, Sayo. We're going to call them Sayo for now. For this stream, we're going to call them Sayo. Let's see how these guys are going to go. So... They have about 10 to 15 foxes as well. According to the map, I don't really see anyone here. So maybe they're just going to leave the fort. Now, yeah, Legion is going to build up the town. So Legion is building up the town. The Sayo guys, Sayo, how do you call them? Sayo Setsuka, I think, uh, are basically just helping out over here. And, uh, or maybe they're gonna go on sabotage, we don't know. But the uh, Frenchies have the bridges under control on the southern side, so it does look like a very overwhelming victory for the Wardens so far in the game. That doesn't mean that the Collies won't come back from this, as they have quite a bit of offensive front line over here, with all of these foxes coming out everywhere, and we have a bike now rolling out as well. But, there's not as many colonials here as there is Wardens, and I don't see any more FOBs. Let's check their supply line over here. Um, I don't see anything. They're running over there, which means they probably don't have shirts, aka soldier supplies. Kind of a messy game from the Collie side, I'd say, so far. I don't know where the other Collies are, but the Wardens have now managed to build up this um, FOB right here on this road. So, they're probably going to continue building in this line of FOBs up to the middle watchtower right here. And connect the two areas. And then maybe connect these two, so they have a steady line. That could be something. Let's check on, on the Frenchies, how they're doing at the Southern Bridge. So far so good, they're actually pushing across quite well, but the, the Colonials have built up an amazing amount of defense, eh, kind of. I mean, that's a lot of pillboxes, that's sure as hell going to stop the Frenchies from advancing, but if that's their only goal, then I see that happening. But if they want to do anything more than that, they won't be able to. As it's only the Warden Northern Star right now getting pushed on by the Frenchies. And as far as I know, I think they roughly have the same amount of players. So Frenchies has 17 around there. And uh, Warden Northern Star has... Is that also 10 to 15 players? So Frenchies with a slight advantage. And they take out this pillbox right here. Great job. I'm curious to see what's going to happen from uh, from the Collie side on the southern side. Maybe if the Frenchies push up, they can take this down, potentially. 
definitely could with the progress that the wardens are doing right now. But we'll have to see and find out. And saying that, another FOB night going up to connect the two. I'm guessing they miscalculated the range between these and want to kind of connect them now with Foxel, active Foxels, aka AI going along the road. Pretty good, pretty good. We'll see how this goes. Checking back on the front line now. Is this Colonius? Okay, so Colonius have... Ooh! A pretty nice fight going over here in close quarters, nighttime with SMGs and rifles. Looks like, yeah, it's just still BV, PGL, and uh, RU here. I did hear that the... Oh, what's this? Hang on. Oh, there we go. BV has a sabotage crew. Not only do they have the middle region, but they also now have a sabotage crew. That's interesting. Right, so this is going to be useful because this road is extremely necessary for the Colonials. So, as I've heard, at least before I got here, uh, Valerian was complaining about their Lodgy not being intact right now. I'm not sure why, but they're on the Colonial side. So, Colonial Lodgy isn't working properly right now. I'm not sure how that's going to work out for them, but not great so far as far as we can see. I don't see any team killing going on here, thankfully. What's this? Are you BB? Wait, what? All right, are you BB and ROV? So mostly the Russians now doing logic here. What do we have here? The Ward of Northern Star. Hang on, they're supposed to be defending the bottom. I guess they might have ca been called from the bottom to deal with the sabotagers up here. That could be a thing. We'll see. Meanwhile, at the bridge, the French is making big progress. Gun, thanks for the two bits, buddy. I appreciate what happened, man. Uh, what happened is we got an 80 player server, like it should have been, Gun. <laughs> but I'm, I'm glad I was able to get in because this seems like a award in victory after. Three wars, we're finally gonna we're gonna see a word of victory. But yeah, thank you for the cheer. I appreciate it. Um, we're just I'm just testing them out right now. Um, because we just got affiliation yesterday, so I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna see how that goes. I'm I'm kind of curious. I'm gonna try stream every day now because it's just fun and uh, affiliation helps because you can get. A lot more things I don't care about the I'm sorry I didn't say I didn't mean it like that I, I, I wasn't uh, pushing for affiliate because of the cheering and the subscribers I was more pushing because it gives you more options and uh, more like if you if your stream is doing well people uh, the people watching can also like have options to uh, watch the stream in whichever um, resolution so that's gonna help them if there's someone like with bad internet from their phone, they can still watch it on like a lower resolution. So that can also allow me to stream in, in, in 1080p because I've been streaming in 720. There's not a whole lot of people can watch 7 uh, 1080. So yeah, I'm really happy. Uh, it was really quick. But yeah, thank you for for uh, the congrats. Hopefully it's gonna go well. Going back to the game, <laughs> the colleagues are all making their ground, pushing back the wardens. And the Wardens using the southern side to build up a sneaky little Foxhole line over here to push the Collies' weak south side. Um, meanwhile, the Collies are using that uh, distraction, so to say, to push up and spam more Foxes on this side, making sure that the uh, Collies have a steady front line going and uh, that they cannot get flanked from any side. Now, I don't see a whole lot of Foxes. Of course, the problem with the forts is that 
the beach over here can get flanked and you can't really put any defenses here so let's say an ac or a half track rolls up in late game with a few he guys they come up from behind they start uh, spam killing anybody here and uh, destroying a few voxels, aging this fort down. Ultimately, boom, you don't have any SS, you don't have any supplies, that thing goes down. String quality has definitely improved. It's gonna improve a lot more when I uh, when I set everything up. I didn't have time. I was rushing to I'm setting everything up today. I only had like 30 minutes. Because I had to set up the new the new stuff like the chat and stuff, cover up and stuff and uh, the opening scene ultimately the opening scene seemed, proved, seemed to be proved yeah, I guess English uh, proved to be useful or seemed useful as uh, there was a 40 minute delay so people could uh, get familiarized with the teams playing today so <laughs> that was uh, not the best but we won't talk about that now um, Colonials now pushing back or trying to defend their line here as the Wardens are slowly making their slithery line of foxholes closer and closer creeping up on the Colonial Fort using the hay bay as cover as you cannot really build any defenses here without them going down from close combat by the Wardens so there's nothing the Colonies can do for this open kind of clustered area right here apart from just do infantry combat which is what the Wardens want them to do so interestingly enough this is going to work in the warden's favor as they're now slowly taking over the southern side of uh, east combi i think it's still bv yeah it's still bv an enemy FOB here saying uh, Sio or Sio rather. There, there's the FOB, and this is by Vanguard and the War of Northern Star. So it looks like they War of the Northern Star kind of gave up on the southern side over here, or have they? What do we have here? No, the War of the Northern Star is still here. I don't know what they're doing. They're kind of split apart between this and the north uh, part over here. Well, as far as we can see, the Frenchies have all uh, grouped up at the bottom and are continuously pushing this bridge. Of course, you don't need a whole lot of people defending against a bridge push, but uh, if they do take over this FOB and get a foothold on this side of the uh, map, or the island rather, then the Wardens are going to have, aka the Frenchies are going to have a big opportunity to then later on push on onto Death Stop. Meanwhile, let's see what ASS is up to. So I, we can't see an ASS here, which leads me to believe they've gone somewhere else. And we don't have any information of where on the map. Oh, there they are. No, this is BV still. So BV was doing sabotage. They're over here, still sabotaging. This is also BV. Um, where is ASS? Are they building up this? No, that's also BV. So BVs and Frenchies are the only ones we see at the front lines currently. Let's see south of this FOB on this line. Now we got more Vanguard. And there, okay, so Sayo just went back to their fort. No, not really. Where the hell is everybody? Are they going after Orlaji? It seems like they might be doing some critical sabotaging going right now. That's still Sayo. Uh, let's see over here. Legion. I don't know where ASS is. ASS and Sayo. I can't tell because they're not over here. Maybe they're at the front? I don't, I don't know. The fort seems... There's no watchtowers or anything in the map. So they could be anywhere on the Kali side sabotage. We'll stick to the front line for now and check if this is all in fact BV. BV, 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 BV. Man, BV is fucking huge. BV, BV, BV. Oops, no, sorry. BV. Uh, 
BB. BB. Yeah, it's all BB. The chat seems pretty clean as well. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. South side right here. A small colonial group. Looks like they're gonna try to flank here, maybe? Are you gonna try to climb over there, buddy? Or is that gonna get you? Nowhere. Okay. There's no defenses on this side at all. It's only this fort and it's unprotected. However, shooting down a fort isn't as simple as it sounds. So, we got a new marker. Supply route right here. Looks like they might have cut this off. Oh, yep, there it is. They did in fact cut this off. But was it ASS or was it uh, yet again BV? Maybe there's a clan just only on logistics. Yeah, because ASS isn't here. Alright, let's check the supply route. Okay, what do we have here? Can I... Nope. More BV! The map is just BV! There's <laughs> not... Enemy FOB. Oh boy, we're gonna check that out in a second. Just checking their supply wrap, and it's really well defended so far. What do we have here? BV? It's all BV. Anywhere I look, it's just BV. I don't know. Another FOB going up by Vanguard. Great job by Vanguard this game. Amazing. Shots from Xander and Satch. Okay, there's nothing over here whatsoever. Looks like this just fort just got built up, and now Sayo is using it maybe to push up north along this road. I don't know. What's this? TVR? And that's a smart choice to defend this crossroad, but... I don't... I, I have no idea where half of the clans are right now. <laughs> they're not on the map. As I said, maybe they're sabotaging. Let's check some of the crucial crossroads. Where's the Star? I know this one is sabotage. Let's check this one. This one shouldn't be because the war of the Vanguard are getting some supplies. There we go. We ah uh, Sayo now flanking from the north hand side. I'm assuming onto Vanguard. Yeah, Vanguard doing a great job this war, building up. But now Sayo coming in with a flank. What's this? A six-man team flank. All on the CV and the CV will go down. Now more SMG fire coming in on the blueprint. Shepard now defending himself. Gets one kill. Gets himself a... Ooh, bleeds the second one, I believe. Nope. Yeah, yeah. Bleeds the second one. So he might go down very, very soon. Argy now stuck inside a foxhole. Does he have a weapon? He does. Takes uh, one player out. No, misses a few shots. Misses more shots. Aim your, <laughs> aim your bullets, guys. Aim your guns, rather. Another guy going down, and the Foxo goes down. A third, fourth, uh, Sayo member now going down, and Sinister, the only one left alive, and he goes down as well. Both of these lads now bleeding, I believe. No, just one bleeding. 
So only one survivor from this Sayo push, but that's good enough as they have this hill now secured. Great push, and now the Warden Northern start trying to take it back. Last remaining Warden on top of this hill to stop them. Running and gunning, and he gets himself killed. And, um, this hill is now belonging... Uh, this hill is now in back in the hands of the Colonials. But they don't have a CD, and they don't have any defenses. And a lot of dead bodies. So... Looks like the Wardens will be able to defend this push-off. Great effort from the Colonials, but I believe that that's going to be as far as they get. Now a little push coming in over here by uh, Xander and a soldier onto the fort, maybe just scouting it, that's fine. Just trying to get information, but Sayo is getting ready for another push, so we'll see. When will you finish playing Fox so on 1v1 me in CSGO and Secret is missing and never show up? Secret is missing? Nah, he, he's playing time to time. Like I told you, I can't 1v1 you in CSGO if we have like 400 ping. It doesn't work like that. If, I mean, Fort now pretty well defended. The Collies are... Finally taking back this ground that were, was contested by the Wardens just a few moments ago. Um, what do we have here? 10 Colonials or so? Slowly making a push on the few Foxels that we have over here and the few pillboxes. Let's see over on this side. This is a Colonial Foxel. So they have made it across to on this road with some of their defenses. As again, I don't know where other clans oh okay so I I don't know where ASS is and FRU is at the bottom yeah that's, that's all there I, the whole game I don't know where ASS is <coughs> let's check if they're at the bottom with the Frenchies maybe yep they have been they've been at the bottom with the Frenchies maybe trying to take this area and they have made a successful push over here as they've limit, uh, eliminated most of the pillboxes that the Colonials had around this area. That was a lot of pillboxes. What do we have here? Still the Warden Northern Star. Uh, they're basically split apart this side and the Northern side. That's a very risky play because now you have your team split between basically the opposite poles of this map. So I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but uh, it could be working for them for now. But a lot of Wardens on the southern side then. I'm assuming around 20 Wardens on the southern side. Most of them I'm assuming logistics as they do want to get the tech up before the Collies. So, so we'll see, we'll see. Nemesis now taking out the Foxel, which is a little overextended. The player inside running for his life. Nemesis chasing after him, even though he's hurt. HMG, <coughs> HMG getting pulled out, and Nemesis goes down. I was just out of the arc of the HMG as well. Had he made like a two steps more, he would have gotten out of the arc of the HMG. Oh no, the Wardens have taken back control over this little portion of the um, high, what do you call these? Oh boy, haystacks? No, hay is for a beehive. No, that's a hive, yeah. <laughs> what do you call these? I forgot. Wheat stacks? Hide stacks? Uh, I don't know. I forgot. Huge enemy force present. Eh, I wouldn't say huge, I would say about the same amount that uh, has always been there. But yes, I would say huge regarding the defenses that they've spammed. Nothing going towards the southern side, so they just wanted to get this to push on the western side. Which I see happening, definitely. A 
Look, that Legion's not taking control over this little area along with this ridge that was previously contested by the Colonials. If you remember, I think it was, where was it, right here that they were fighting over? Right? Maybe? Or was it the other hill? I think it was the other hill. I think it was right here instead, somewhere around here. But yeah, this is gonna go, yeah, right here. No, actually, they're still here. The colonies are still here. The only way they can get this supplied is, I think, through this kind of thing? I don't know how they get their supplies. Oh, no, no, right, right from here. Right, okay. So three foxes not going up. No, four foxes and a storage box. PC with two HMG gunners. Now getting rid of the sabotage unit that was on top of this little ridge, uh, closing off the road that was leading to nuke. Clever stuff, and I'm surprised they have APCs this early on. Well, it's not that early; it's an hour in, but it's still pretty early for FCL. I believe that would be the last fox so once they take this out. Although there's a few more, there's a few more on the on the map, but I believe those are destroyed. So yeah, this is gonna be the last Foxo, and they cleared out this area of the map. No, wait, what's this? Yep, one more right here. And they should have cleared out this area from warden defenses. Not a whole lot of, I mean, there's a whole lot of Lodgy over here. That's what I'm looking at right now. There's there's a lot of trucks and there's a lot of Lodgy. Um, mostly the Russians, once again, because they need the most right now. They're fighting BV at the center region. Now the Wardens are using the high ground of these rocks to their advantage. They were over here actually, that was even better. I'm guessing they either got sniped from the beach or from the trench line. Oh, what a shotgun plane now coming in from the Aussie. Taking one out and now taking the second one out. And he is bleeding, so he will go down any moment now. Got an HMG gunner over here, and that would be Cortez. Another HMG gunner now from the warden side, and this will be Nemesis, taking out Foxo after Foxo. Norm is here to cover him, just in case. Yeah, there's there's no overextended Foxos. The Frontline has stayed still for quite some time now, but Nemesis could make a change. Firing now on the Foxes over here with controlled bursts. Very nice. The Foxes should go down, reloads. No Colonials around this area to do anything about it. This, oh, Wardens are now behind them as well. I'm assuming they must have cut off their supply lines for so long that they don't have SS as they're all running to the front line right now. They're not spawning there. Big, big problems for the Colonials. There doesn't seem to be any SS and supplies getting delivered and any trucks going down this road. Probably petrified from all the sabotaging done by BV. And 
just gonna go down. Still just uh, only the Russians here. Again, just let's look at the defenses. So most of the defenses are all to facing eastwards. Not a whole lot of the defenses facing westwards. And absolutely no defenses there on the southern side and around their fort. Pretty confident now the wardens, I'm guessing, are only pushing them. They are not really caring about defending. It's more about push, push, push and make sure that they can't get together with an offensive force to take the town back. Vanguard, oh sorry, I was just reading in chat, Vanguard now uh, getting pushed from the southern side by the uh, Sayo Japanese clan, while at the same time trying to push up and make a front line west on these mountains over here. Let's see if they got pushed, nope, they're still holding this little area right here. Probably still wanting to get an FOB going up here. APC is now going at the fort over here, and we have a new set of frontliners fresh from their hometown to push back the wardens that have overextended to these rocks formations here and to this area right here. Let's see if it's gonna work. They've wiped out these foxels, every foxel that they had near the road. And uh, the wardens got a little too close for comfort, I'd say. That's why all the collies are back now. With a pretty well equipped HMGs all around, but that's not gonna help you when you're fighting Cactus, who has a rifle prone on long range. Very long range fights now. Shots being traded and Cactus is getting absolutely pummeled, but at that distance the rifles shoot like water guns, so not a whole lot of damage going out. Prone now while I'm on top of a fence to get a little bit of an elevation and uh, trying to shoot the Colonial now who stands up just to get shot. <laughs> not very smart. Um, we got hentai moving up as well. There's a lot of colonias over here, and I'm not sure what they're doing right now. Most of the building, most of them just standing around. Just four people with hammers out, and one guy with a pistol over here with HMG. I don't see a whole lot of front line. Well, the wardens don't care about building; they're just fighting, and it seems to be working out for them for now. Ooh. <laughs> nice shot coming out and a lot of collies now building up as they're pushing up um, only two wardens to try and hold off this push but they are pretty effective they wiped out about three players over here and they're putting pressure on the blueprint now that's about to go up pretty good I just need to test the stream real quick, one second. Okay, test, 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 let's see. 
I just need to test the stream real quick. One second. Yeah, stream's fine. Okay. Back in the game. Nope, the Collies seem to have... Oh no, they're just pushing northern now. Now, the, the Wardens want to push south, the Collies want to push north. Kind of a weird play, but... It works for the Wardens, they're pushing up, and the Collies have to defend. They're the ones getting under attack, they're not the ones attacking. <laughs> not in this situation. They have, the Wardens using now the high ground of the rocks to elevate themselves above the colonials to use that to their advantage seems to be working out again the front line has been a stalemate for quite some time right now on this fence line so we're gonna check over here now ASS finally we have a marker from them they seem to have backed off from the southern side and now instead they're gonna push from uh, Kirsten. Let's check how the wardens are doing over here and how their progress is on trying to take care of the colonial line. And now it doesn't seem to be going very well as the colonials are now setting up an FOB. Oh, what's this? Hang on. We have Sayo setting up an FOB very close to Nuke. And there's nobody here to do anything about it. They're about, what's this, about 200 meters away from Nuke, yeah? It's a pretty close FOB. If they get that FOB supply, they can have a pretty good shot at taking out this town hall in the next 30 minutes to an hour. Great thinking now from uh, Sayo. As this fort, I'm assuming, is already pretty well fortified. I mean, it's pretty well fortified and pretty well stockpiled. So they could take out some some of those supplies and move them there. They didn't go for an FOB on the northern side over here towards this FOB. Which is kind of weird. On this road. But we'll see. And now a big push coming from the Collies. Vanguard doing an excellent job uh, shooting down the Foxholes over here. Seven of them. Yep, about seven fighting against four, no, three foxes in the CV. Now, from this range, it's kind of hard to deal damage. As we can see, Pi getting absolutely blasted with all these shots, taking almost no damage. Returning fire coming from both sides, no side really wanting to push on each other. A lot of ammo being wasted right now from both sides. And Sinister, I'm assuming took out a person. Yeah, Crick is down. There's more defenses over here by the Wardens, and if they get these down, they have a clean access to the uh, scrap pile over here. Ooh, shot from Timber, unexpected, Sinister going down. How many Legion guys do we have this time? Five, six, seven, okay. <clears throat> Fox up getting, going up now, Turtle, good job. He doesn't care about all these people up there as they can't damage this. Great thinking.
Yeah, these these shots aren't dealing damage. I'm assuming they're really far far apart from each other. And the FOB is now set up. Great job by Sayo. Getting the watchtower up as well now. A bunch of foxes going up. And it looks like they could be making a push here soon. We'll stay tuned for that. But meanwhile, let's see how the middle region is doing. <coughs> Seems like the wardens have ma managed to slither their little fox soul pillbox line all the way across. Blocking them off from the salt side completely and have now forced them on a two-way front line. One facing south, one facing west, and another one soon to open north. Great job! Great job by the wardens on this war. Smart thinking on a lot of these things. And it seems like the call is finally now establishing a pretty good supply line with hopefully no sabotagers. See if this truck survives. Should be. The bridge damaged now from all the gunfire. St uh, another stalemate here by the Frenchies against the War of the Northern Star. And there's not a whole lot of War of the Northern Star. Again, there's only like half of them. The other half are up there. Good job from both sides on the bottom. It seems to be a lot more organized of a war this time, with a small hiccup at the very start with the whole logistic system on, from the colonial side getting sabotaged. Another F will be going up by Sion now, securing this crossroad, a fallback point for them, in case this push goes pretty badly. Uh, let's check again how far are they from the Tao Ho. If we go straight east, nope, we missed it. Let's try from the Town Hall to the FOB. So, going from the Town Hall to the FOB would be somewhere like that. So this is about very, very close. About 100 to 200 meters. Very close to the town. See how this works out for Sayo. Good job. Going back to this little push over here. Vanguard still holding on to the uh, rock formation right now, to the high ground. Ooh, a warning now getting shot out of his boots. Laying down on the floor. Pi also laying down on the floor. The wardens don't need to push though. They, oh, their orders is just defend person. And they're doing a good job at it. So, doesn't seem like a lot is going on on the northern side either. It's just a stalemate on all fronts right now. Apart from Sayo. Sayo is doing something interesting. I'm looking forward to what they're going to do with that. But, um... Yeah, Vanguard's doing a smart tactical decision. Getting a frontline stalemated here while they supply their FOB. Madbeard going mad on these defenses as he's been spamming for the last 30 minutes. Good job from him. Great logistics work. Rather, building work. Two watchtowers are going up in case one, either one goes down. And uh, towers light up for the colonials in case they have radios. And if they're building a watchtowers, could be, could be. now pushing up on the collies. Collies have two a APCs here, one of them which is about to roll out, going westwards. Careful not to fall in that trench, could get stuck. Yeah, the collies are very focused on pushing the northern side, while the wardens just want to push down from the southern side. The wardens seem to be doing a much better job though. Now the APC probably gonna get called back 
because they're pushing heavily in the south we need people and uh let's see if the apc is gonna do anything for them now given this a this type of apc is better against defenses not players we'll see how this goes because if you if you pull that this gate on players players can shoot you two shots you're out of the game not something you want to have and if it's an hmg like this a one spray down and can that can get shot yeah one shot going out right now as i said another colonial getting shot the apc is a very slow turning vehicle it's not really designed for anti infantry unless you have six people on all sides right now with uh web with uh, fuck rifles and uh smgs i couldn't get the words out not hmgs that hmg now getting sprayed down thankfully they do have a healer inside so you can make a change for them the apc now oh these guys are getting gassed the apc now in a better position the hmg gunners oh this is a very good hmg position getting shots off on the apc the apc is now damaged as far as i can see it definitely needs some repairs now there's gonna be one person repairing it good cover fire killing the hmg gunner but this thing is on fire somehow and it's getting repaired but it's not it's not gonna get repaired anytime soon thankfully the hmg gunners can still fire off the back of it and uh the wardens now losing the high ground as well collies finally getting their shit together once again good job from the collies Foxos will be able to shoot upwards though. The, the Foxos aren't players, they can shoot like 90 degrees up. Oh, very good positioning from this HMG gunner. Nemesis, good job. And his teammate, Vom, is gonna cover him and that APC is out of the game. See, if you get tech, that doesn't mean you win. So the Collies rush for APCs, that doesn't guarantee them anything. Besides, APCs best pair with AHEs, and they don't seem to have AHEs yet, simply because Sulfur gets produced pretty slowly, and because they need tech. We got Sambi and uh, Atcat getting shot. Frenchie's just chilling on this bridge. I'm not sure why they're not repairing it. Uh, maybe they want to get this thing down. Maybe not. I don't know. But not a whole lot of Frenchies here either. I don't know what. Maybe the Frenchies are working full time on Lodgy. Who knows? Akira's just chilling there. Not doing much. Defense is now going all around this FOB, but they've been building this for quite a while. I'm assuming not a whole lot of people building. No, that's... Eh. They just want to surround this. It looks cool. It looks cool. But will it be a good waste of VMATs? It's never a waste of VMATs. But will it be a good usage of VMATs? We're going to have to find out. Only one player building. For now. There's a second one right there. Sean. Is that Sean? Yeah, Sean. Again, maybe could repair this bridge. If you guys want to continue pushing, if you don't, have it fall. Let's see, Sayo now getting shot by Vanguard. This is what I mean. This is the only way you can have use from the APC. Using it as a mobile gunning bay for the uh, passengers to shoot from. Kind of like a boat. Like a boat with its sides full of gunners. Probably should fall back, two of the players are down. And Sayo loses about three players as well. Two players. Two three players. But takes out two players as well. So not a very good trade from either side on this. Kind of a fair one, if anything. Ooh. Warden Odessar and Wavangar now also putting pressure from the north side. I'm not sure if they've given up on this FOB. Doesn't look like it, but there's not a whole lot of people here. Do they still have this high ground? No, they've completely left the high ground. Possibly to defend against Sayo. 
giving the wardens here a breathing ground. And they should probably get at least one player up here so the colleagues don't retake this. So, yeah, Warden's not getting a breathing ground to work with. Try and organize a plan or a push to take out this FOB. Meanwhile, Vanguard is dealing with Sayo. Now I have to say props to the Wardens for building up such an amazing supply route from all the way from their base, covered with foxels all the way across bobs and foxels all the way up oh what's this oh they've lost this FOB right here ah huh, okay and another one over here it looks like but yeah still a good uh, coverage for their supplies props to them that's gonna cut off any partisans trying to do partisans and instead, the only thing that can do partisans right now is this APC over here with two HMG gunners on it. They're getting slightly, slightly scratched by random and uh, Aten. Now it's gonna go naval, and uh, the APC is now in the water, going somewhere. Oh, maybe they're gonna go for the fort, but the fort you can't really destroy with HMGs that easily. Or maybe they'll just want to flank it. Oh, that's that's not good. That's a bug. Just swim. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Oh, you just want to. Okay, he just wants to get pushed. Maybe he's. Uh, is, yeah, okay, there we go. So yeah, I don't know what their plan is with this APC. Oof. This is... <laughs> this is a bug. This is why we didn't have APCs in the last war. Or the last FCL. That's a tree branch. <laughs> oh no. Oh, enemy spotted now on the map. They have radios. Well, technically they have FOBs as well. So all it takes is one guy to just spam E on an FOB and get his map updated. And uh, yeah, they have the two HMG. Oh no, what is happening? What a mess from... <laughs> what a mess from the APC there. Getting shot by your own fox, so and saving your getting saved, getting your life saved by your own fox as well. Uh, Vandal, not trying to get a shotgun shot off on the fox. So there's a lot of dead bodies on this rock formation right now, but the foxels are kind of slowly going down though. Let's go back and get chopped with this APC. Yeah, the APC, APC unloading on the fort, three HMG gunners, but as I've said, HMGs really don't deal a whole lot of damage to the fort. You would probably need a HE grenades to take it out. Yeah, that's, that's not gonna go down. Which kind of left this area open now. They can repair the fobs now. All they need is a CV. Oh, another rifle will be going up for the Frenchies over here. And does, did the builder just go AFK? That's, that's not something you want to do. We might be looking at a queue time over there.
It's a stalemate. It's a stalemate everywhere. Sayo seems to be getting some progress though. Foxel's going up towards the east hand side, friend are now going down. Hans also going down. But they can't recover their weapons while the Sayo can. The wardens can. Valerian now going off from Logi to deal with frontline personally himself. Misses two of his shots. Gets third one missed. And finally hits his fourth shot. Uh, Valerian, the revolvers got nerfed last patch. Not really that great, but still kind of okay. And misses another shot because of that. And goes down. But he is bleeding and he will get traded. After now should maybe look for some traumas? No? Okay. That's Valerian not to die. No, goes for another kill. Maybe he's gonna take it. A complete miss. Two, second miss. And that trade is gonna go away. Oh wow. Athers not giving up. Takes another kill with him. Missing three shots now. Going down finally. Oof. Oof. Sweet, sweet team killing. Looks like they're still building up some defenses now, finally, towards the south side to deal with uh, Sayo's push. Which I'm guessing means that this FOB is. No, it's actually thriving. I was gonna say it could go down soon, but no, it's thriving. However, it's still getting pushed. Shagina finally getting in the server. Actually, no, he got in the server earlier. Finally getting some action now. Taking. Eh, doing some damage to the Foxel. Almost taking it out. I was gonna say taking out, but almost. Uh, a lot of Foxes not going up, and finally the Wardens are gonna have APCs. Now the APCs are gonna be really useful over here, especially if they have HEs. Check on the middle region. A lot of pillboxes here by the wardens. On the north hand side, yet again, undefended from both sides. No, actually, there's a few foxels over here. Uh, uh, supply, uh, sorry, uh, foxel line going off from the western side. But this area is completely blocked off by foxels connecting the FOB to the town. So, not very far. No, no, no. <laughs> the, the collies can't really push that far from the west to through the west hand side, northwest hand side. Well, still a stalemate. This whole game is, I think, going to become, uh, I think, going to be a stalemate at least for another hour, maybe around there. Although these foxes have gone down.
Okay, I got some food. Fucking hungry. I'm exhausted today. I don't know what's wrong. I can't speak. I can't fucking think. Maybe with food, everything helps. Food helps with everything. Yeah, tell me. Enemies? No. So. How do I keep missing them? Should be on this road, right? Yeah. Nope. Don't see any enemies. This is probably still down, and so is the other one over here. Where have we built up the supply line? Uh... Oh, there we go. Finally. Yep, there we go. Stopping up for a sec, guys. Valerian now back with Logi finally. A slow but steady push now from the Collies. They're back on track. And the Wardens haven't really built up a whole lot of defenses extra since last time. Maybe a little bit. A little bit more. Ooh. Shepard now with the sabotage. Good job. No one around? Where is everybody? Where is everyone? Just one guy. Timberwolf. Where is everybody else? Alistair now driving straight past Shepard. What does he have? And why are the Frenchies up here? Doesn't ASS have Lodgy? Oh, maybe they're just using this. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, I'm pretty sure... This southern side is secured now, guys. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. Map. <laughs> what? Everyone's just chilling, they're not really playing. <clears throat> no combat. Oh, as I say that, Sion now pushing on to the town, getting uh, breakthrough through here. Ah, I see. Okay. Straight north. Setting up a few foxholes now. These are colonial still. And they are pushing on to the hillbox. Ooh. 
Looks like I'm gonna have to get through two garrisons, or at least one. At least one. Oh, an APC now. By the War in Northern Star. So these are a trap over here. But if they can get a foxhole up, that could give them some advantages. Oh, nope, never mind. Now, over here we have Al uh, Ath Aether just having a fucking field day shooting warden after warden. Going for more. Can he get one more? Misses a lot of shots. And now SMG coming in from Xander. Gets one of the builders wounded. Um, Sikari from the top, doing some shotgun work. Another Sayo player going down. Jazz going down. A lot of players not going down. And uh, their little push here has been completely choked as they have nowhere to go. Xander now pushing in on the final builders. Where Sikari? Sikari needs to move up right now and help Xander. Not gonna happen. Xander could go down now. Friend are now distracting. And they're back up on top of the hill. They've been pushed back. Good job by Vanguard. Great intervention. Sikari now still using the bushes as cover. And wow, such getting a nice shot off. Uh, but they do have meds, so it should be good. Although he was dying if he had meds, he should have saved them. Sinister now going down, unfortunately. Runs in the wrong crosshair at the wrong time. This foxo could go down, giving them a little bit more of a breathing space up here. Maybe setting up another fox over here. Now keep in mind, they do have an FOB here from the beginning of the game. So they don't have to worry about the wardens building up anything up there. <clears throat> now a small push going up and this foxhole should fall. But a bigger push <clears throat> now concentrated or a bigger combat now concentrated at the top of this hill and the uh, vanguard is gonna get pushed back back down. However, not as far as this. Kinda smart maybe to let them push this far, overextend and cut them off completely. But uh, a lot of vanguard here now. And uh, BV now flanking, helping them out. I, I, this BV should be over here, but I bet their BV is over here. Listen, this is their sabotage group. And uh, George Michael now getting shot. Nicholson getting shot. Streaky getting shot. Hentai getting shot. Dead now going down. But a lot of Vanguard guys and the, uh, uh, the garrison shooting friend that in the back. Gunman going down, Drunkle going down, and Captain Soka's the only one left. He gets a kill onto Vandal, getting flanked by uh, Aether, and he's gonna go down. Great fight by Vanguard. Flanking unsuccessful. However, there's a lot of them and Maverick coming in with the flank shotgun play, gets two players down before he goes out, but is that a waste of SS on Maverick or will he get two players completely out of the game and have to respawn? We're about to see it, it looks like it, this was a worth it trade, because both of these players don't have anyone to revive them. Vanguard is just toying with them, flanking from any side possible. Amazing job by Vanguard, good job guys. Looks like a push is getting ready, two APCs just chilling there. Looks like the Collies are now making a comeback. The defenses have been melted from the southern side, the Warden defenses anyway. And uh, looks like the Collies are pushing up. To the line they were at at the beginning of the game. That's progress, but there's only one hour left of the game. 
checking now at the bottom bridge. Ooh, do we hear? We just heard a howitzer going out. And this howitzer will indeed target the town hall. Just checking real quick on the bridge before we get back over there. The Collies now have control of this bridge, even though the Wardens have spammed so much over here for some reason. And, uh... Now uh, this spells Magan. Okay. Going back over here, the town hall getting pummeled by howitzer shells. Ooh. If they get a howitzer shell at the southern side, that will be able to knock out some of their builders. That howitzer shell completely missing the town hall. Another one completely missing everything. A third one shooting in the middle of fuck all. There's nobody there. Another miss. What are they aiming at? I think they're hoping to get someone killed as they're running off through this road. But they don't know that there's barbed wire right here. So no one's actually running through the road. They're just going around. No one here. Shell after shell wasted instead of stockpiled for the town hall. If they can take out the town hall, that's a lot of people reset off of their supply, uh, spawn supplies. Unfortunate for single two, getting absolutely destroyed by the Foxo. Or is not playing very passively. I don't see any frontliners. I believe most of the frontline is happening over here right now. Both of these are these back up. Rally at one hour. What? Okay. See how this FOB is doing up here. <coughs> oh, it's down. Good job by Data. And uh, I'm assuming ESS taking out this FOB. What about this one up here by Vanguard? Still up, still kicking. A lot of Vanguard here. So this group is led, I'm assuming, by Shepard, while the one at the bottom over here is probably led by Xander. Oh, Legion now with an APC getting caught off. Legion trying to back away. Maybe should get his side facing. There we go. Side facing, but a lot of SMG fire, and this should get maybe disabled anytime soon now. They're charging at uh, SMG fire and the people inside actually now falling one by one. Most of the fire is concentrated at the top and that APC is out of the game. Charol now getting a, making a run for it. Most of the people in, stuck inside are gonna die once it goes out and it's supposed to go out now. There we go. And no, actually uh, Craig is still inside and alive. He's kind of stuck there though. And shots cannot reach him. Can he shoot fire? Yeah, he can. Everybody else gathering away because nobody can kill him. And now all three flop from the APC, but they all go down. Great job by Vanguard once again. Ooh, a cheeky APC now rolling out from Russians, helping out. The Vanguard and uh, Warden Northern Star here. 
box after box and are going out. I'm assuming their goal is to take out this FOB so they can maybe switch focus from here onto Kirsten. But I'm not sure. Change of fire right now. Coming from both sides. Player is gonna go down. Friend is getting shot at. Friend that goes down. Best goes down. And an absolute field fest for this little Sayo member. <clears throat> Maverick now getting shot at. Maverick running for his life. Pulls out the revolver, misses both, three shots, four shots, fifth shots, fifth shot, not gonna happen. And Sikari now pulling out his shotgun, avenging his teammate maybe. No, completely out of the loop of what's going on and gets shot as well. A lot of positive trades coming in from the Wardens. Another player now getting shot, Nachi going down, Vandal now trading him. And Soul also goes down. And now the uh, Sayo clan should pull back. And uh, kind of stuck by what they have, I'm assuming. Ooh, a shot over here. It appears to be a mortar from an APC. This is Colonial, of course, taking out the FOB almost effortlessly. And now the APC is moving out of there. I, I think they should have stayed there for at least one or two more shots. As that would have taken out the FOB unless it's already down. I don't think it is as the flag is still there. It would have probably been worth it to do that. As now everyone is chasing this APC. We should get away. But uh, yeah it would have been worth it to stay there. Stick around for a little longer. But this will get all these wardens off, of course, and uh, help out. Now some of them finally going back, but help out this push now going up. Great job, great coordinates. They're really close. All they need is to stop these three foxes right here, and they should have the uh, uh, they should have the outpost at least within rifle range. HMG fire now coming in from Rays, shooting on the few colonials that are overextending slightly. And uh, Freda now healing mid combat, Sikari not making not making any efforts to get out of there really. Um, the colonial push not getting wiped. All of the wardens are back at the FOB. However, it did do some work. I don't know where the APC had gone. But uh, wherever it went, hopefully it's still alive. Let's check back uh, at the town hall. Maybe it's the town hall. I'm not 100% sure. Yep, it's right there. Oh, enemy push, maybe Shepard. Yep, Shepard and Vanguard pushing in on the Foxos right now. I haven't been paying attention too much over here. Most of the combat is happening up here, right now. Most of the game-changing combat, at least. Sinister, gonna get himself a Foxo kill over there. Uh, SMG is now opening up on the Foxos. Now keep in mind, SMGs aren't that much quicker at destroying Foxos than rifles. If you get a three rifles up, shooting at a Foxo, pretty much the same speed as if you get three uh, SMGs up so because of the damage drop off and uh, Turtle not doing a lot of damage to the Colonials now they're gonna slowly back away we have I think a few builders over here yep 
gonna repair, but remember that the Wardens did have a lot of pillboxes and foxes around this area, which are now destroyed thanks to this APC. And uh, now they're falling back for reinforcements, not giving uh, the Wardens any kills, aka any SS wasted. Moving back to the middle ground. Same front line. Let's see. We have uh, Prosto now aiming from the Hauser. I'm assuming they want to hit the town hall as they do have range for it. I don't think a single Hauser can do it, but I'm confident at least two will be able to. And there's a CB right there, so. Let's see. Yep, should be within range. Especially on the ground, because I'm up in the air. Ooh, nice shots coming in from Aten. They're getting. What? They just got shot from behind. So, the Wardens kind of gave up on the southern side that they had a push happening from. Now, the southern side still has yeah, a few foxes out here and there. But, uh, it's, it's got. This whole area got wiped from the col Colonials. Great job from them. And the town hall now getting howitzers. I'm just gonna check, is it just a single howitzer? Yes it is, and as a matter of fact it's getting shot at by, uh, who is it shoot that? Uh, it's Aussie. Yeah, but a single howitzer now firing on the town hall. A lot of builders just countering that. We have uh, Random, we have Nico, and we have Cactus. They shouldn't go down. Ooh, that was a good shot. Could if they if he if he hits a few builders, they could do something. Chat reading out in Russia we trust. Well, you better hope Russia has a hundred shells, or else this thing ain't going down. Just like over Berlin, guys. A lot of these shots dead on hitting, but again, four builders. That was, should be all of the shells. Not anywhere close. If they, if they maybe had three of them lined up, they would have probably taken it out by now. But only a single howitzer. I'm not sure what's the HP on this, but it doesn't look like it's going to go down. Instead, switching fire on the defenses now. Which can also get repaired. Uh, and now another house over here by the Colonials. I mean by the Wardens. Could return fire on the Colonials. That could be really crucial. And no, actually the reason it stopped is because it, uh, it got destroyed. I'm assuming by frag grenades. Uh, judging by all the explosives there. So, that's unfortunate. Checking back on the Frenchies here, the Frenchies, have they abandoned this area? But Maggie not 11th, good job man, props to you, I'm, I'm kind of sorry that this isn't going to get used, but good job, you know, effort. Yeah, only like two Frenchies here, a lot of spam on the other side as well. And they have an APC here for some reason. I don't know if they're going to try to push. They can't even get the APC. Maybe they want to go like around these defenses. That would be useful. Departing in 15 minutes. Ah, they're doing a naval. The Frenchies are going to do a naval up. I'm guessing through here. Onto Devstadt. 
I'm also guessing that's kind of what we're, they were doing for the last who knows how long. Yep, there's a truck right there. Right, well that's gonna that's gonna be like 40 minutes for them to take the town. And there's the APCs. French is just chilling, they're not really too hard on themselves and what they want to do. FOB now going down, I'm assuming it must have been by HMG or maybe this APC right here. Why are they shooting it down? I guess they don't have a wrench. That's unfortunate. Here's some ammo. Yeah, according by the ammo, I'm guessing it was an HMG group that took that out. But, um, yeah. They're finally getting back on the same spot they were at earlier. This time a little bit more open so that they can't get flanked. And with a little bit more people, aka BV. Doesn't matter. Won't change much. As far as I think. I think the Vanguard has a pretty good hold here, especially the fact that they have two more APCs just chilling. That's getting wrenched by PGL. Don't know why. Looks like the Russians now took over this town. Yep. And we still have Vanguard, but I believe Vanguard is mostly focused up on this area right now, on this push. Yep, as most of Vanguard is here now. And uh, Fox after Fox is now about to go down. They're really close to this town hall. Awfully close, as a matter of fact, every single time this town hall has gone down, it's been from the exact same spot, from the in the exact same way. What should be done is the Warden should set up an FOB up here and then defend it. Kind of maybe over here or over here, like a couple, I don't know. They're not all going down and the Mortar is going to strike the Town Hall. This Town Hall should go down in a matter of minutes. Barely reaching it though, it should get a little closer because I believe some of these shots are hitting the ground. Yeah, very, not even reaching it. I don't think he knows that he's not reaching it. Maybe he does. I don't know. Shepard getting shot by the opposite voxel, not the ones he's shooting at. Now he's gonna suppress it, good job. And uh, they're slowly backing away. The mortar tube now readjusting. Aims and should start firing again. Legion and ASS now back and starting to repair the town hall. I don't think it's that damaged, but it got shot a few times. Warder now going back out into firing mode, and this time hitting the town hall directly on top. I would aim a little bit over here, maybe hit a builder or two, but uh, yeah, it seems to be working for them. Another shot going off, and uh. I believe they're pulling out B-Mats right now to start repairing it even more. Is that all the mortars, guys? Nope. But the infantry has reached. And uh, maybe we're gonna see... Maybe we're gonna see the infantry now stopping the builders. However, this garrison is really annoying for them right now. It's the biggest problem. Maybe the mortar should have focused on the garrison. So that the infantry could get through. This infantry though, not having HMGs. So, no real way of suppressing fire or anything like that. Town Hall almost looks like it's been undamaged. Not even at 50%. Builders constantly rebuilding it. I'll have to give the northern side, or at least the northern combat, to Vanguard so far. They've done a great job. Good job, Turtle. Uh, they've done a great job this war. Even if, let's say, they don't take this town, I still give them props. And we're looking at, at a department over here. They have two construction vehicles on a single barge. They have a truck. Maybe potentially a second one. Yep. 
and they have I'm assuming infantry somewhere APCs yep there they are no wait that's colonial what happened here oh the colonials the colonials have landed on their slide while the wardens want to land on <laughs> what the colonials have landed on the warden side while the warden side wanted to land on the colonial side have they missed each other do they not know this what is happening what are you kidding me they're literally landing in each other's sides right now and nobody's noticing it please guys it's right there there's a cv on your land while you're taking off to fight what is happening oh my god oh my god they none of them are gonna know this <gasps> no they're not even noticing oh my god <gasps> this is the craziest shit i've ever seen and an fob going down while the frenchies are leaving off to build their own oh my god wow 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 <laughs> just wow that's all i have that's just crazy there's not a whole lot of them either just more than northern star going back to this kirsten now back in the hands of the wardens the attempt was made by the colonials but it seems like they got pushed back not that far though they're only back here and with a big force oh running out of SS here Sayo unfortunately um, there's a logic truck right there so they probably got their SS <clears throat> they're equally both of these teams so this is what so the bottom side is pushing across here to attack the colonial side and the colonial side was pushed across here to attack the warden side meanwhile over here the uh, the warden side is pushed here to attack this town while the colonial side has pushed here to attack this town just what oh my god this is ridiculous Randall not getting two kills. Getting a third one wounded. A lot of fucking cluster fire over here. And he gets gets his third kill? Yes he does. There's so much shit to scavenge over here. So many dead bodies, Valerian are running away. Getting stuck at a rock. And uh, he's gonna go for the high ground. Will he get there in time? Spots best, I believe, and best is gonna. Oh no, no, she's a teammate, right? <laughs> he spots Jazz. Crouches for Jazz. Shots. First shot, second shot misses, and Jazz can just spam left click. I always prone. Don't go crouch. Now, I see big, big booms getting dropped over here. I think it was a mortar. I'm not 100% sure. Or big booms. It could have been the HEs. Yep. Just a back and forth. A stalemate over here as well. Another push going in by Vanguard over here. And Vanguard has an AC, uh, APC here. I'm assuming most of their sulfur went on mortars, however. Now shots going off on the town hall and with each other. Okay. Uh, CV getting, I guess, in position just in case. Maybe they're going to build up another FOB here just in case. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Oh, there we go. Single HE going off. 
and Alistair is just chilling there, maybe chatting with them. Uh, distracting them, at least. Oh no, the HE was... <laughs> oh, that guy went flying. The HE was actually for the APC, not the Town Hall. Great job from Alistair. And maybe... Is he gonna get it down? Ooh, close combat fire, Alistair. Adjust your camera, unfortunately, going down. Great job almost taking out the APC, and I'm not sure they're run out of access here, but I don't see anybody spawning. So, still the advantage is for the Wardens right now, who are on the outskirts of this town hall. Also getting HE... Uh, getting HEs out on the town hall. Uh, meanwhile, let's check where these guys landed. So, they haven't landed here. Did they land... More to the east? No? Did they land to the west? No? Where did they... Where did they land? What the fuck? Where did these guys land? Enemy FOB. Oh, they realized, maybe. That there's an FOB here. Maybe they went back. Uh... I don't see the enemy FOB either. It was right here. Somewhere. Oh no, there it is. <laughs> Maybe they went back. Did they? No, no, this is clear. Where the hell did these guys land? Oh, okay. I don't know. I Maybe they... I don't... I should... You should, I, could, should bleh, I should be able to see the barges, right? Somewhere? Oh, there we go. Finally. French is landing here. Wherever that is. I don't see anybody else. There we go. There's only APCs here. I don't see any barges. I don't see CVs. I don't see anything. Just APCs. They can't land over here. So, I guess this little dot tiny thing, maybe? Oh, well, okay. It was big. I, it didn't render. Yeah, Fox are going up, but uh, again, no CVs. Nuke almost down, need HE. Right. A lot of people building, though. Looks like I missed a heavy offense, however, according to this, it didn't... It wasn't successful, and whoa, 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 whoa! What happened here? The fort is under warden control now. A lot of ha stuff happened in the last 15 minutes, possibly more than basically the entire two hours. But this town doesn't look like it's gonna go down, as Vanguard is now stuck in infantry fire with BV, who are now completely finished with the middle region and are moving on over here defending. So Vanguard is now facing both Legion and BV. Not something you want to do, unfortunately. Let's check this. A lot of people here. BV is also helping. So BV is helping both of these towns now. They want to help defend and they want to help attack. Could be successful. I'm, I'm kind of, kind of thinking that they could take this town. They have a higher chance of taking this town than the Colonials have right now. So, we'll see. I don't see a secondary FOB anywhere to keep the defenses up, even if that is the case. Even if it does go down, I don't see an FOB. I don't see a whole lot of spam as much as the last wars at least. Possibly because there wasn't enough time. Xander now getting shotgun to the face, dodges somehow, and kills Data as well. Jazz now shooting him from the side, gets up. Fucking four shot uh, locked on Scott. Scott now dodging like a boss. Xander bleeding out. Jazz now taking out uh, Silver Fox. And I believe Xander is about to go down. Yep, there he goes. Probably yelling, Medic, Medic, come out the tunnel! And he. Oh, he gets revived. There we go. That worked. Uh, yeah, Jazz doing a good job, getting a few kills as well. 
but the wardens are using this time to build up and kind of push down as i said they do need to take this thing out either this one or this one this one's already down and this one is already down so they should probably push from the east hand side not the north hand side however the north hand side is closer to them so maybe they should have just used their HEs to take out this garrison instead because this one's a lot more important for them i don't know but we'll see thankfully colleagues have enough time to build up a lot of defenses right now so that's pretty good HMG net going down going to oh wait we have a mortar mortar now striking the town hall but as we saw single mortar can't really uh, counter three or four builders so i don't think that's gonna work out for him no oh, okay three mortars yeah that's gonna do it and this town hall is down <clears throat> as i said it was oh, all it takes is a few um, mortars, that's it, and there were a few explosives, and uh, the, the wardens did have the upper hand over here. As they have BV helping both this side and this side, and this town hall is now down. <clears throat> Nothing to panic though, all you need to do is set up an FOB right here, or you should have set up another FOB here or there, so you can at least spawn here. But right now, any warden, uh, co sorry, colleague that dies won't be able to respawn on this garrison is I'm assuming gonna go down oh no they're just mortaring the CV yeah don't don't just bring the CV over there right after that you're just bringing it within yep mortar fire uh, that's that's a no-brainer I feel like you shouldn't just charge in to rebuild when you just saw three mortars firing like crazy even if you if you are out of reach it's like the mortars are always going to destroy the blueprint, so that was kind of a no-brainer, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, great job from the wardens, though. With all things aside, they did. Uh, they they saw the advantage and used it, and uh, now they're gonna go after the garrison. I'm assuming. No, they're firing on the APC. APC is now smoking its engines out and uh, I think it's time right now for these guys to fall back from their little assault right here and uh, help out at the town this is the only FOB that they can use currently oh whoops not that one the one over here the colonial FOB right here is the only FOB they have with which is kind of supplied I'm assuming uh, even if they lose this it's not that big of a deal but if they lose nuke it's, it's it is a big deal Meanwhile, FOB went up for the Frenchies. Two CVs now here, and a lot of APCs. A lot of building going on. I don't know why. You should probably save up this stuff to attack Devstock, as uh, I'm assuming that's the plan here. But it's fine to get some sort of a, you know, defense line going. It's not bad. Um, I don't know what their capabilities are and how much BMS they have. I'm assuming they have way too many. But APC is now going to roll out. If they do take depths, this is going to be the greatest ultimate victory that any team, aka faction, has ever pulled in this whole tournament. And it does look like it's going to happen. As Nuke has gone down and Deathstot is almost undefended. Let's just check and confirm. And yes, Devstot has nearly no defenses to stop that push. And people here don't even know what's going, what's about to happen. So, kind of risky, I'd say. Absolutely nothing. There's an APC now, but that's not gonna stop them. So I'm curious to see what's gonna happen. Ooh, 
a watchtower now about to go down. A lot of storage boxes here, guys. What were you doing? And a lot of foxholes here. I'm guessing that we're getting sabotaged here. Earlier. Has to be. But uh, yeah, these should go down. Now, the colleagues could have seen that and uh, seen the watchtower go out if they were paying attention. And if that's the case, they could just think, oh, it's probably some sabotagers or an entire fucking fleet trying to get me. So, I don't know. But the wardens have spotted this outpost finally. They knew it was somewhere around here, but now they know exactly where it is. And they're probably going to get some APCs to take care of it. I don't see anyone from Vanguard here. I'm guessing most of them just came over here to defend. Uh, the defenses are still up, but they do not have a CV here. Because the CV they used got destroyed in front of the town hall. Let's see if another one is coming up anytime soon. Following this road, we should check if there is, in fact, okay, we got, uh, what's this? Four fourth. We got a truck going up. And uh, I don't see a CV. There's no CVs. Maybe one building up right here. Maybe. Yep. There it is. But it's a little too late. By the time that thing gets there. Oh boy. It's not going to look good. Is Vanguard back here? No. Vanguard is nowhere to be seen. I don't know where they are. Oh. Yeah. They're getting their asses beat over here without SS. not good it's all the ruskies there's one vanguard Xander and I'm guessing the rest were over here somewhere yep yeah this thing is gonna fall especially the fact that they have 30 minutes to do that definitely gonna fall fuck ton of APCs SMGs collies where? What? What? Where? Where? I'm guessing that was from earlier? Uh, I guess so. Well, do they have a colonial here now scouting? Yes, they do. Who is this? Henry. Does Henry know what's about to happen or does Henry have no idea? Because these guys were kind of loud when they came here. They like they spam defenses and shit. So anyone within this range can find out that they're over here so not really sneaky I don't know if they want to be sneaky is this FOB down? no it's still there two foxes, three, four four foxes defending him that's it huh. oh that's maybe one maybe? Eh, I don't know there's an APC here oh there's two wardens Bear and Jitak, the same guys defending this bridge. And oh no, there's a third one. Little boy. I guess these guys were charged with defending. Now there's a few more. SS now, Necron and Niles. Also. Oh, what a fucking frag grenade. Oh, if only that was cooked a little better. No, these are going straight inside and these guys are not taking any damage. A little broken. That's a gas grenade, gonna slim past. And now they're gonna squeeze past. Yes, they are running away <laughs> from all the frag chaos. Getting the high ground now, getting shot at from above. The HMG gunner doesn't even bother to move because he can't really go anywhere. And the APC now gonna roll the fuck out. I still don't know where all the Frenchies went. Uh, are they attacking? Because I can't see them on the map. No, I don't think they are. Oh, they are! Oh, shit! Fuck. Okay. <laughs> this town hall is about to go down, actually. Frenchies have brought their HMGs. Oh, what? What the fuck? Just us just flanking them with a pistol takes one of the wardens out and another one trying to revive him. Is he reviving the collie? The fuck? No, he was reviving... Yeah, this... I mean, it's almost down. His APC is just driving drunk a little bit. Just going back and forth. 
for some reason. A watch, a watchtower going up. What? Why is there a watchtower going? Okay. Oh. Where to? Why? Okay. Three, two APCs just sitting there. No one's inside them. And the town hall didn't go down. Is that it? Do they have SS in there? Are you getting a... I'm guessing they have SS in this FOB, right? Oh, I see. That was a little disappointing, considering they spammed all this. I guess I did miss the best part, but still, it's... Okay, they do have SS, at least. It's still kind of underwhelming. Uh, I thought they would for sure take this down. Now, a lot of colleagues coming here. That's a weird new materials marker. And uh, the APC now probably gonna fall back. Or maybe not. The town hall getting repaired by Henry. There's a lot of colleagues in this town now. I think it's all the Warden Northern Star. No, there's a bunch of Russians here as well. Yeah, well, that didn't go as best as planned. However, they still have this town getting built up now. So props to Sayo for uh, being able to take this town. And BV for helping them out. Yep, this town is now going to fall into the Satch, now getting a kill over here, or trying to get one, not going to happen. I'm, I'm, I don't know if, yeah, this FLB just went down, they just took it. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this game, guys, unfortunately. Uh, it seemed like the Collies knew what they were doing for the longest time. Here's a mad beard, the only one left alive from the resistance, goes down. And, uh, yeah, oh, they're using this FOB. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, they had an FOB up here. They should have made at least one more at the town so the defenses don't go down. Maybe, like, put some SS in it. But, um, yep, yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Oh, they finally lost their stuff. Oh, my God. There we go. But what, what took so long? Probably the HMGs. And I missed that as well, unfortunately. Um, oh, whoops. One second. Tabbing out. Okay, tabbing back in. Yeah, the foxhole went down. So they have 27 minutes to get this up. I'm assuming the entire warden side is now going to come over here and get help them get this. Chat saying it's a GGGG. Okay. Good jobs coming out from everybody to everybody. Seems like the Wardens work together quite well this war. As we saw BV helping everybody out. At some point they were everywhere on the map. Couldn't find any other clan. And the last Warden now <laughs> running away with his hammer out. And there's an ABC just... Okay, getting HE to death. Who's inside it? Venture, why? Okay, Venture again. <laughs> why didn't you just drive it back? Why are you suiciding it? Um, there's one more APC. I'm guessing it's locked. Could maybe sneak a person in and take it. But they they need to wait at least like another seven minutes or so for the defenses to go down. And until then, we'll see what happens over here. Do we have? Yeah, we have a little small infantry squad getting prepped up. Uh, I don't see anything special. Maybe they have some HMGs or mortars, but I don't see it. I think they all have rifles. Now, the CV is going to roll loud. Now, they have a backup CV just in case. Oh, and the colleagues again pushing 
over here uh, on this town for some reason. Well, they just lost their own. So this game is more like right now. It feels more of a who can attack better rather than who can defend better. Because you're gonna lose a town if you're on the constant defense, no matter what, almost all the time. Now this watchtower, well, the mark killed this shit. They wanted to kill this watchtower for some reason. I mean, it does give them a lot of vision, but um, I don't know how they're gonna plan to do that because there's an FOB right there, and it's right next to their home base. <laughs> already <laughs> defending their home base now okay looks like it's obvious what's gonna happen the town hall is up I'm not sure if they can upgrade it or not but it's there I see some collie on the map I guess it's a fox so yeah the sneaky colonial trying to get back to the town hall but this is the only thing they have and now of a very disappointed colonial side I'd say the chat reading Deutschland 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 everybody's kinda sad from the Kali side but again, they can just defend this and make sure they don't lose extra unnecessary points. And by the way, if they don't build this up, I believe they still lose points. Because they need to have it up to get points. And if it's down, we get about a 15 minute overtime. So it's, their, it's in their favor if they can get this down to build it up as soon as possible. I'm exhausted. Holy fuck. Ah. 23 minutes to go and I haven't even taken the pee break. Start game. Oh, maybe I should take one now. Oh boy. This was a fun game at some point, um, especially at that one hour mark, it was a really fun game. And uh, <laughs> two CVs now building up and I believe it's BV, yep, pushing up with Foxels towards your home town. Now if they take this one out, if they take their hometown out, aka this one, and they have this one down, that will result in a defeat. So, keep your eyes open for that. Therefore, we should go up any minute now. Oh boy! It's an 80 versus 70 match, and some of them are streamers. Xander has left the game. Lord has left the game. Born to help has left the game. A lot of people rage quitting, I'm assuming. Well, you have to be mad. It's only game. <laughs> it's okay. Ooh, Davstad seems to be even more prepared now. 
two APCs inside the town. Doesn't look like this town is going to fall, but again, if they do lose this, their hometown, then we have a problem. down and another APC now flanking around gas grenade gonna kill him Again, no CVs. Oh, there's one. Never mind. CV gonna go back to the town, and I believe they'll be taking this back. Chat's full of GG. As the CV approaches for yet another FOB. Colonial team dropping members more and more. And this town is not getting fortified at all. They don't seem worried about it. There's only 20 minutes left, but again, if that starts to down, it's gonna go in overtime. Those are smoke grenades. No, those are gas grenades. Never mind. Ooh. Flank coming in and dead. Chat spamming it. Ah, yeah, yeah. I'm exhausted guys, I'm sorry about the commentary, <laughs> there is no commentary, this is gonna go down, but hello, this tie FOB is also gonna go down, I'm assuming it got mortared, this bridge is, look, it doesn't look very good, um, or maybe it got flanked somewhere, I don't know, maybe from here, but that's gonna go down as well, and it looks like a victory for the wardens with five downs. All defeat for the colonials with two towns. Oh. Well guys, I'll leave you to this spectacular thing, and uh, I'll be back.
And we are back, boys. <laughs> Rush Pisuka. So stalemate. Once you set up a fob, automatic stalemate. And Duff Star is gonna go back up. Oh, and if I'll be getting a little closer now. Uh, I'm not sure how you're gonna supply that. That's gonna be tricky. And yeah, this town is pretty well defended. It's not gonna go down. That's gonna be it, unfortunately. 13, 14 more minutes left. Doesn't look like a change that FLB over here got destroyed. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. What's this? Oh, the FLB on top of this mountain got destroyed as well. And the last of the defenses is getting wiped now. Well, looks like that's going to be a GG. I believe this is still the ASS, and I believe the Frenchies are still trying. This is getting sandwiched, but there's only 12 minutes left. They're probably going to need half checks or mortars or AC, PCs or AC, something like that. To take down this town. And build it up. The chat is absolute fucking shit right now. It's utter shit. There's so much trash talk. If you guys want, I'll put, turn on the SFX. Can kind of hear that for yourself. Are you? Rip. Oh no. What's happening here? Oh no, it's just a marker. Okay. He's been trying to build up the fox for so long. <laughs> bad Nick was bad stream. <laughs> and he got removed. Who have any spotted? Oh boy. I don't know why I just clicked on the marker, but hey, there's two people here. Should I join them? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. What was that? Poor guy. Ultimate, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Really close with these foxes. AI foxes as well. 
And so are the, these guys. I feel like they should just rush over here and leave this area. I'll remove SFX. Yeah, this is a stalemate. They should just go for the bottom. Bottom's the where the shit's at right now. Big push from both sides. I'm assuming there should be a lot more players here. There's 70 players. And we're only seeing like 20 on this side, 20 on the other. <clears throat> This is again really important, this is worth two points. So neither side wants to lose this town. Or rather, neither side wants to give up on this town. Intense fighting going on, but keep in mind these guys do not have an FOB close by. They're running all the way from over here, up here I think, just to get to the front line. So that's kind of, you know, it's kind of a little bit, a little bit time wasting when you're on a constant front line. And I'm not sure how much SS they have, but they should have enough, judging by how often they spawn. Where's their fob? Okay, their fob is right here, but they do have active defenses all the way over here. That's some range. Holy fuck. Unless they have another FOB somewhere that I'm not looking at. Nope, that's the only one. That's a lot of range. Look at this. Holy fuck. It's like, yeah, it's about 60 meters, because I'm 60 meters off the ground. 50 meters off the ground. That's about 60 meters, maybe. 70. Yeah, but like the max range of a fob, kind of. H and you're gonna know spraying from the garrison. H going out. Not quite, and another one going up. Again, not quite. Ooh, nice shot from Normus. And judging by that, yeah, I guess BV is here now. BV has reached the low destination. But, again, doesn't look like this town is going down in the next six minutes. Unfortunately. Builders are making a lot of efforts. Frenchies are doing a great job. But six minutes is just a tall order for them to fulfill. Oh boy, I'm exhausted. I'm not sure if I'm going to upload this stream to YouTube. You guys tell me. I could, I, I could, but... I don't think a lot of people are going to be interested in watching it, simply because it wasn't a fun thing for them to play. It was mostly a stalemate. The only fun parts were parts. It wasn't really like the main taking over happened in minutes, not hours. So, I don't know if it's something that people are going to sit down and watch again. To bait the band. I think they're gonna set up another for me, like right here, maybe somewhere, like a little closer. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Five minutes though. 
their best bet is to run this town hall out of SS. But even that's not gonna happen. I think the biggest problem Colonius had was Lodgy wise. They didn't seem to have their Lodgy shit together for some time. Could be also griefing, I don't know. I don't think it was the combat. I think combat was pretty even this game. Oh, two shots coming out, and he's out. Oh, another one goes down. Those APCs, I think those are kind of the most kind of scary things. Oh, and they got wiped here. CV's back here. Yep. Four minutes left. Not gonna happen. Great game though. Great game. <sighs> I was so tired going into this match. And I'm exhausted coming out of this match. And I didn't even play. <laughs> Did I get here mortar? Oh, it's getting mortared. Again, a single mortar won't do much. Where's where's the firing at? Oh, it's firing from here. I can't see it. Oh, right there. Oh, and he's getting shot at in the back by Henry, and he gets down by Henry. I can't believe like four people couldn't kill one colonial. And they probably don't even have meds. Holy fuck. That's unorganized as shit. Come on, Henry. Henry, you can do it, Henry. This is getting built up by the time you get revived, but you can do it, Henry. I mean, they're so grouped up here. Then Henry goes down. This is a little bit of a mess. Uh, mortar goes up, second mortar goes up, maybe two minutes left, maybe. I'm, I, I can see it, I can see it happen, oof, big oof, and it's gonna go down. Ah, oh, there we go. Took him a while. Now get this fucking shit down, because it's fucking annoying you guys. Right? Take it out. Take the garrison out. Or maybe take the CV out. Yeah, that could work as well. I think they're going for the CV. Yep. Yep, I see them. I see them. They're going straight for the CV. Smart. Yep. First shot in. Second shot kills his teammate. And he's backing out of there. But this is still annoying to deal with, I feel like. Where are you guys firing at? I guess they don't have spotters. They probably should though. See if he gets jammed. But they will have uh, overtime if this doesn't get built in the next minute. Which won't happen because it's impossible to get for it to get built in one minute. So we're only getting another 15, time, 15 minutes overtime. Let's see if he's gonna get out of there. Yep. <laughs> I thought the APC was gonna lock off their path over here. Yeah, that seems that seems gonna die. Well, maybe not. Maybe they want to keep it. I'd keep it if you have wrenches. I'd keep it. This CV needs to get built. Well, yeah, after all, this thing is gonna go down. And oh my god, what the hell happened here? Uh, APC rush. They could get this town hall down as well. 10 minutes overtime is now in effect. 10 minutes left. I don't, I'm not sure on 10 minutes. I don't think it's gonna be enough. They're using, they don't have this FOB. 
We're using a fucking barrack to spawn. <laughs> Rav getting pissed in chat. A lot of people getting pissed in chat. Warden's being extremely toxic this game. <laughs> the child was really toxic this game, unfortunately. That's why I haven't hovered over. I don't want to see toxicity at all. Oh, what a gas grenade! So a lot of people are complaining why is there overtime, well it's because this town went down in the last minute. According to that, if the town stays down, overtime. Okay, this pushed well too much. Let's see if they got this town under cover or not. Yeah, it looks like it. It looks like they have this town. Okay. Oh, good job Frenchies. Good job BV. You guys did great. This is the first war that there's going to be six towns. The fall under the fall under the wardens, aka the winning team, this time. This is okay. This is weird. This is the first game ever the wardens win with six towns, and the first game ever that wardens win in general. So that's fun. That's interesting. I like that. Finally some change. Most of the wars seem pretty much the same. Because a lot of people lose morale when they lose central coffee. And then they're like, oh no. We lost the war. And then they later on go ahead and lose another time. Because of that. So, yeah, this is good. But 12 minutes could give them access so they can uh, build or attack the last remaining town as well. I'm getting pinged on FLD. No, uh, not FLD. I'm on Discord. I'm getting pinged on Discord. I'll check that in a moment. I'll just find you guys a great spot to basically watch right here. Seems good. Oh, you can't watch it. It's fucking frozen. Announcements, announcements, announcements. Holy fuck. Okay. Okay, not that important. Never mind. Yep. They might go ahead and uh, charge the last town in the last 10 minutes. From what we saw, they can take a town in under 10 minutes. And if this one goes down, it's GG. By default, because they can't spawn anywhere. They can't get a supplies. So that's going to be all the supplies they'll ever have. And yeah, that's going to be GG. I see a lot of people still dedicated going down there. Who do we have here? Are you? Are you, BB? Yeah. And the town hall is up, I believe, any moment now. Two CVs, 300 BMATs, boom. There we go. Ugh. Oh my. Oh my god. What is that? Holy fuck. Yep, all they gotta do is charge the last town, and they have a total victory. 
and they got 10 minutes to do so. 10 minutes is enough to get a supply order for one side of the map produced all the way to the other, allowing them to use fresh supplies or organize enough to get fresh supplies in for one final attack. If they do manage to get this town down, there's going to be nothing stopping them from building it up. So we're looking at a total, potentially at the total victory from the Wardens. Good shots here. What do we have here playing in our dash and uh, Helvete. I haven't seen Helvete this game. Because it probably wasn't looking wherever he was. Uh, trucks not charging, infantry charging. Getting killed, BMATs on the floor, I mean on the road, a lot of people now charging in for this last town. Let's see, who's going to be the unfortunate one? Pink Unicorn, okay. Okay, <laughs> he's going to go out. Let's see, what do we have here? We got BV and a bit of FRU. Pushing in on the last voxel. Or not the last voxel, on the first voxel. And they have a few more that they need to clean up and a garrison in order for them to attack. Oh, they have a half track. Everyone's here just waiting. This is gonna be fun. Oh boy. Yep, they're closing in. Eight minutes left. <clears throat> That's gonna destroy this pillbox. Ooh. Little conf confrontation over here. Shots getting traded everywhere. This is a very nice position. It should, uh, it's a little broken because you can't shoot him, but he can shoot you. <clears throat> yep. I think we are, in fact, looking at a total victory, potentially. A lot of gunfire happening right now. I think they don't have any more foxes around here. Apart from the town hall, which gives the wardens a lot of ground to work with. APC is now getting ready. I think the only way they're spawning right now is with a barracks, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this barracks is the only thing. I don't know if they have a CV, they'll probably drive one up from over there. But 6 minutes, 30 seconds, 20 colonials have logged off. Roughly 20, 10 to 20 colonials. 56, yep, they keep on logging up. <clears throat> and the half track, the only one they have, is about to go down. <clears throat> While that half track down, there shouldn't be anything stopping them from taking this town. Now mortars are going to get fired, but instead of the warden side, they're going to fire from the colonial side. And what? Larger knight, what are you doing? You didn't even have your pistol reloaded. What, what is happening? Larger knight, what are you doing? Just kill him. Just kill Larger, come on. There we go. Jesus. You could have just ran him over. You didn't even need to stop your vehicle. Unless you got disabled. Let's check this road now if there's anybody along it. Nope. This one's the wrong road. I don't know where this guy's going. Alistair, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? You going to the town? I guess. The 
town is getting built up for some reason. Come on, guys. Four minutes. Leave everything you're doing and just charge the last town. Let's go. Repair those trucks. I don't see anything on this road. Oh, there's a colonial right there. Dash. Let's see what Dash is going to do. Dash is going to go up against Cactus. Cactus. I'm putting my money on Cactus. Ooh, Dash gets a kill. Ooh, he gets the kill. And uh, we got a SEAL member. And he goes down as well. Never mind, Dash, you, you stole all my money. All points were awarded for the towns you held at the end of the three hours. The only points not awarded were the neutral towns, aka Death Star. <laughs> Lord is asking, do we get medals for FCL? Well, three minutes of this game won't look like it's gonna get taken. Just realized that my music stopped. <laughs> One minute and GG. job by the wardens this game good job haven't seen this town in a while Defeat. 
Okay, the Colonials have claimed them. Nope, they didn't. But, yes. Fifty-two colonies left. guys four three two one zero <sighs> great game by the wardens good job guys you did great Great effort by the Colonials. I think it was a great game. It was a little boring at some points, of course, but I had fun at the end of the day. It was still fun. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, let me know what your thoughts are. I know that a lot of things must have went wrong for the Collies, and a lot of people got upset after this game, but at the end of the day, it's, it's all for fun, guys. We're all playing for fun. So... Thanks guys for watching, I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully I can stream every day, bye bye guys.